This is deliberate. <clears throat> this is intentional. This, this ugly hairstyle? Yeah, okay, good. Sumo, you can call it what you wanna. It doesn't matter. The fact is, the fact is that this is about confidence because so many of you, so many of you are super hyper concerned with how you look. You think you look bad. You don't look bad. You know who looks bad? I don't know. Steve Buscemi looks bad. Ozzy Osbourne looks bad. In my opinion, the majority of the Kardashian family look fucking ghastly. Okay? But lots of people tell them they don't. And I don't know if they have any kind of problems, like internal issues. The answer is probably yes. I mean, Trump looks ghastly. He looks like a fucking Jesus Christ. And if you don't like my politics, I don't give a shit. But the thing is that your attitude and your approach and your delivery and everything that you can give has everything to do with swagger. I was coming back from the supermarket today and I was thinking about it. It suddenly hit me. Swagger. Right. I use it. I know it exists. And you know it exists. It's in your stride. It's in the way you look. It's in the way you feel. And it has nothing to do, when I say the way you look, it has nothing to do with the way you actually appear to yourself when you see yourself on a video or in a mirror or, God forbid, in some kind of photo, stupid, inadvertent selfie thing where you judge yourself. <clears throat> you don't need to judge yourself like that, but you do. This right here, this is about swagger. This is about attitude and approach. And you don't build swagger. You don't get a swagger app. I'm not giving you a swagger app, although I guess I should. I could probably make a lot of money off of that. If any of you make money off of a swagger app and you don't pay me, I'm going to hunt you down. <laughs> this is built this swagger that I use, this ability to distinguish between doing it shitty and actually doing it for real, this is about swagger that is built, forged over time, sweated over, bled through, cried over, concerned, because this is not about being easy. You want something easy? I don't know. Go buy a pair of diapers and sit in your bed and fucking scroll down, you know, cat videos or food porn. <laughs> That's easy. This, this takes work. It does, of course, and you know it. I mean, I'm not talking to you about anything mind-blowing. It's like, oh my God, really, Paul? This takes work? Of course it takes work. That's why every time I talk about these things, I'm not looking for the people who want the easy way out. And I'm not trying to convince and connive and manipulate you into considering whether or not this is a thing. Because if you think that it should be easy, and I know some of you out there, I mean, I can come up with a short list of people who are so hyper-concerned about whether or not they should spend a certain amount of money in order to gain this. One of my clients made a decent amount of money last week, $10,000. Another client made $5,000. i am not talking about whether or not this is money, although money is attached to things once you gain your swagger. What I'm talking about is that <laughs> this is what all of the people you follow and pay attention to and support and depend on and rely on and Google. All the people who have gained a following, actually, they have this. And this is not something they can teach you. This is something they come to people like me to learn from. This is learned by people who get it, but 
it's more than just getting it. Because there's plenty of people out here who have something naturally and it mustn't be fucked with because they will ruin their ability to understand how to do it naturally if they actually go into the process for a period. They'll get better at it after they get worse at it. For the people who are beginning, you, if you're just beginning, you don't have to get worse at it because you're already not so hot at it, so you just know where to go but up, right? I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. I just tell it like it is. This is not for sideliners. However, I see people out there. I see people who are speaking coaches. There's some lady, I saw Stacy something. I can't remember her name recently. She commented on something that I commented back, and she said, do you know what I do? And I looked at her page. She's a business speaking coach. Wow, is it amateur. Maybe she's making a fortune, but damn, money does not replace your ability to learn swagger. Yo, Louisa, nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. I look forward to you jumping in when you can. Yeah, you like this. Yeah, <laughs> it's been hot. So I have these two buns, you see. <clears throat> I came from the supermarket this way. I had my earbuds in. <laughs> I was dancing in the cheese section. Did anyone see? I don't care. If they saw, did they like it? You bet, because I'm a good dancer. <laughs> but the truth about this stuff, <clears throat> I can teach you how to not give a single fuck about what anybody else thinks of what you're doing. And when you do that, when you embody that, when you bring that, you won't have to ask me if you have swagger. You'll know the answer. The interesting thing is, like all my clients, like all my students have been teaching since 1987, I will know before you know. Because I can see it before it actually shows up. So when I talk about this stuff, what it means to become one of the types of people that you actually follow and pay attention to, the people whose work you stream on Netflix, those people have built that shit. And it takes working with a coach who can help you articulate, who can assist you in learning how to make. This is for real. This you take with you for life. This is not about just business. Swagger gives your step a lot of flair. Okay. Speak soon. No bullshit. No fucking business generic ass pitch crap. Straight up for real. Let me know. I want to hear from you. Comment below, will you? I'm outie.